Hey gamers! I promised to make this video detailing the collection of collectibles after making my video about unlocking and earning scripts, uh, right here if you missed it. If you're looking to increase the number of crafting gathering scripts you have, or want to participate in custom deliveries but don't know how to get the items you need to turn in, this video will help you with that. So let's get started. Gathering collectibles. Remember that in almost every situation, if you're looking to see where you can gather an item, you can pull up the menu and click search for item by gathering method to show you where to find it in the game. For botanists and miners, go to these nodes and simply click on the item you need. It will pull up the collection minigame. It's as easy as that. In this screen, you'll have the chance to use abilities, secondary actions, and bonuses to help you increase the collectability of an item before you collect it by pressing collect. You have as many actions as there are gathering attempts at the node you are collecting from. So if you can find a node with additional gathering attempts, there is a greater chance that you can have better collectability. Mousing over, or putting your cursor on, each ability will bring up the tooltip explaining what each does. For each primary action, it'll also show you on the graph an estimate of how much it will increase the collectability by. This screen also shows you how much collectability you need for each rank of reward here. They have made this really easy for beginners now. Just make sure you save at least one gathering attempt per node to collect your collectible. Once the collectible is in your bag, it will display as a collectible, meaning it won't stack, even with other collectibles of the same rating, and the collectability rating of the item will appear in the tooltip text. So make sure you have plenty of room in your inventory before you start collecting. For fish collectibles, you need to turn on the collect action found in your actions and traits menu. Once you have that on, whether you are line casting or spear fishing, you will have the chance to collect collectibles. The quality is a bit random, but fish designated as large are worth more points. So you'll want to use your patience and precision powerful hook sets when you are casting for collectibles to increase your odds of catching these formerly high quality fish. Crafting Collectibles For all crafting classes, you can find collectible items in the Collectibles and Custom Deliveries tabs of your crafting log. Once you click on an item in there, you begin the crafting collectibles process. This looks nearly identical to the regular crafting minigame, except that there is a bar at the bottom, here, that shows the desired collectability points for each item. So convenient! And it has the box here indicating that the item will be a collectible. Collectability is exactly the same as quality, so craft the item as you would normally, ensuring that the quality of the item falls within the ranges required for the turn-in. If you're looking for crafting materials for a custom delivery item, they are always found at a nearby vendor. Just double check how much of each item you need to make it. You can buy the materials to make the parts to make the item, or you can buy the parts themselves. Just do the math before you spend the gill, is all I'm saying. So remember how I mentioned in that video that each expansion's collectibles have their own prerequisite quests? Well, for you would-be collectors out there, here they are. So Inscrutable Tastes, level 50. Go West Craftsman, level 60. Reach Long and Prosper, level 60. The Boutique Always Wins, level 70 and Expanding the House of Splendors, level 80. There are additional quests to unlock each custom delivery client. I'm not going to mention all of them here, I'm sure you're not watching with a notepad, but these are all the clients so that if you're missing one, you can probably remember to look it up and check them off your list. Does this all seem a little too easy? Maybe you've seen some other guides with substantially more steps. Well, it's changed. Like so many other things over the last few years, they've made it so much easier for everyone. Maybe now you'll believe me when I say that leveling a crafter is super easy and so worth it. And if you want to know one reason why it's almost mandatory to craft in Final Fantasy XIV, click this video right here. I'll see you there.